All right, welcome back to the Road to SSL series. We're on episode number 10 for today. In the last couple episodes, we had quite the toxic encounters, but we're in Champion 3 Division 2. Hopefully in this episode, we'll rank up into uh, Grand Champion 1. I'm not sure if we will make it there. We have to go two more divisions and then actually rank up. But uh, it's been an interesting ri uh, ride so far through the episodes. I know it's going, going quite fast, but we're going to hopefully make it to SSL quite soon. And I hope that this series will be informative for ranks that are below what we're actually playing in. And I think it will be. Um, but let's get into the meme comment of the day. We got one with Nolly Rancher. It says Nolly is a Jolly Rancher. We'll see. We'll see what we can do. Okay, I'm gonna be honest with you, but I have no idea how to put Nolly on these things. So instead, what I found was <laughs> a picture of a kid in a Jolly Rancher uh, costume. So I think this is gonna do a little better here. Uh, I'm gonna bring this up a little bit. That looks pretty good. And then we're gonna put uh, Nolly on top of this. So here he is. And I'm just going to take out his head, of course, and uh, see what we can do. All right, perfect. Um, either I can make this smaller so I can see more of the logo, or uh, I could keep it this way. I'm not really sure yet. Let's see if we bring this in a little bit. Now we have the full <laughs> we have the full name, Jolly Rancher, in there. So let's see if we can get him in there. No neck? No neck. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to be honest with you, this is pretty low effort, but it's kind of funny to me. Oh, there's an ear. Oh, no. Okay, I moved his head down a little bit, and then I just need to get uh, his chin into the the costume. I mean, like I said, this is pretty low effort. <laughs> I don't know what else to do, though. This one's a weird one. Okay, honestly, this is going to be it. This is Jolly Rancher. Thanks again for that comment. Like I've said before, if you want to be featured in the next episode of The Road to SSL, make sure to drop a comment of your favorite Rocket League pun, and maybe I'll do it in the next one. But now let's get into the games. So hope you guys enjoy. All right, we got Peter from Ohio against Oakville and uh, Action Pants. He's saying whoa, which kind of concerns me. We'll have to see what happens here. So that guy went for the kickoff and ended up missing. I went for the back corner after the ball went to the corner. But we'll see what Action Pants does here. All right, good control. Now I'm just behind my teammate. Now I'm ready in mid here. He, my teammate actually also went, but I can go for this. And this should be uh, open shot, maybe pass. Good try for my teammate. Um, my teammate ended up trying to follow that and right here I can't go for this ball until he pops it up middle and now I can try to go and get in the way Now I'm gonna go up the wall and see what happens if this player goes for the challenge early, which it looks like he might Good save from them. Uh, I'm gonna wait to see if they try to challenge me early it, uh, Oakville ended up missing now I'm gonna go behind my teammate and wait for him to block the flick There we go to sit in front of where the angle is where he can flick it towards the net So that guy made a big aerial just to pass the ball to me and now I have space on the ball Good challenge from uh, Action Pants. Good catch as well for my teammate. Take this boost from this guy in mid and then just wait in mid. See what happens. So this is a pop across. I would say wait for the uh, the touch from them because it's way over the net, right? So there's no need for me to challenge that too early. Now both players are challenging, so what I can do is like, pop that. But I ended up letting go of the ball um, to a point where... Um, like, I can't really go for a follow-up touch because they're going to be catching the ball. I like that my teammate's being patient. I'm behind him now. It's both players. I can catch this ball around the one player. And I could, if I caught that better, um, you can you can definitely, uh, you know, shoot it towards uh, target or something like that. I'm not going to shoot this yet. I'll pop that up. Definitely a shootable opportunity there. See if my teammate pops it back. He does. I don't know if he needs boost. He might have need boost. But I can, I can stay with this in the corner here. That's totally fine. Both players challenging pretty early. Now I have a follow up and now I can go up on the wall here or I can dribble it in early. I see the guy challenging, so I'm just gonna stay close. Try and pass this across, it doesn't quite work out, but I can go back. Now those 50-50s can be bad because they can go backwards toward our toward net. That's a really good touch, maybe a good follow up too. Good try and this should be open for me. Nice finish. So Action Pants actually tried to challenge a little bit too fast. It happens quite often in twos where one player will zoom past the ball like that and the other player will try to uh, recover or support the player too quickly um the biggest thing is that's just a miss and that's not gonna be good for anybody on the team if someone goes past the ball like that especially in twos because there's only one, one other player to support you so the biggest thing the best thing you can do as the player alone is try your best to stall the play like right here my teammates out of the play i'm gonna try and uh slow it down uh until my teammate can get behind me and that way even if i do make the save and it's a little poor my teammate can't get there for me and i i could have left that for my teammate but the other guy was there and i can stay with this ball here i'm gonna go for a flick off the backboard do I can go for a follow-up? He was a little bit awkward there. I probably flipped it a little too fast for him. 
And once again, I know a lot of people have said in the comments that like my positioning is definitely different to like what normal champ players is. That's what I'm trying to show. I'm trying to show that you can play out of positions and, and do something that, you know, works out really well just based on reading the play ahead. Now I see that this could be a 50-50 from action here or a touch. And now the ball is given back to me. So I'm just gonna pop up the wall. And if he goes for this, no problem. Still no problem if he goes. As you can see, we have a chance on net here. Now, this is once again a scary situation where if I go for that, I am last man. And if he goes for the beat on me, uh, there's a chance he might actually just pop it over me. So I'm just gonna wait. Well, was the one goal that we got uh, was based on my teammates uh, good pass there. So once again, I'm this is too scary to go for. Now that my teammate's behind me, I can go if I want to, and it ends up being a straight up dunk. It's off the backboard. See if my teammate can finish it. Good try. This is a little scary. See how see how it's really scary if I go for that. Um, like it is definitely scorable, but if you you have to be super confident in the shot. And I'm definitely gonna start scoring those as we go up in the in the in the the rank because um, and that off the wall there. We've talked a lot about that, like jumping off the wall for those shots. Oh, this could be a good shot here. Oh, good try. He's saying hi, YouTube. Oh, no. I got recognized. Oh, no. <laughs> he, he typed mid-game. <laughs> I'm going to pop this over the two. You can see that I'm waiting to draw them in. Uh, let's see if my teammate can pass this middle two. Good try off the backboard. Oh, my gosh. What a shot. Oh, no. <laughs> I've been recognized. Hello, good sir. Uh, the meme of the day is Nolly Rancher. Just posted. <laughs> hi, hi. Have I ruined your ranked experience today? <laughs> if so, I am sorry. <laughs> Have a good day, guys. Now you can see as we go through these games, they're actually quite close matches, and there's definitely chances for us to lose because I'm not I'm not playing perfect defense uh, on every attack they make. Um, the biggest thing is I'm just trying to support my teammate, who uh, honestly, for the most part in this series, they've been playing pretty fast, um, and they've been playing good positions. And we've had a couple uh, strays that definitely are not the norm. I'm gonna try and pass this. Oh, <laughs> I'm gonna try and pass it to my teammate because he was up upfield, but he ended up backing off. Good challenge. This is a little scary because I am last man again. As you can see, not the greatest challenge. It ends up going right back to them. This is on the backboard. It's going to probably bounce down, so I doubt that they're going to get another touch. It's hard to read. And even if they do get a touch, it's not going to be on target, so I can wait. Now, I can see, my t I can see that this, this is a better attack where I can actually pop the ball off the backboard and see if they can make a pass. Good 50-50. Now, if I rush this, I definitely will beat him, but I'm going to back off. Now, I'm going to go for the touch here. See if Pace can catch the ball in the corner. He does. Now I have 50 boost. I could go back. My teammate left the mid boost, so I'm just gonna grab this one. Really good shot. Nice play. So I like that he's see how so he could have went for this ball right away, but he ends up waiting to see if he has space. He takes his time off the backboard and goes for the immediate shot. That's the thing that I was talking about before, where being patient and finding those opportunities with space is going to give you so many opportunities to go for a good play like that and uh, catch the 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 goalies off guard because. The biggest thing about um, attacking on, on offense is change of pace. Um, like changing the pace really quickly like this where I'm, I'm slowing the ball down with them immediately going for the touch off the backboard or uh, not off the backboard but off the floor there uh, to boom it forward. Not the greatest touch for my teammate but they end up popping the ball. Now you can see there's no threat because it's going towards the back corner. The teammate's not going so I'm just going to jump for this. End up missing. That's okay though. Good pop. Almost a goal too, but once again, Pace throws the ball away. That's actually, that slowed it down to the point where he, oh my gosh, it lands on his car. No way. That's fine. River's playing really well. He's saying he's washed, but he's being very, very patient with every touch and making sure that he reads what they're doing. This quack guy might turn right away. Once again, throw away possession. So I can go on this immediately if I want to. And this should be my teammate. Oh, he ends up going defaulting to net, which is not good. It's gonna be a goal. Um, so what I was hoping he would do was when he uh, when he sees this ball pop into mid, which is over one player, he's first to that one if he just reads the uh, the, the ceiling bounce. But I definitely could have just waited for it or boomed it out forward. I was trying to keep the ball in possession. Not just give the ball away. But you can see it doesn't always work. Even if you're playing like a, a way that you think is decent, it may not work out for you. So this is probably going to be uh, yeah a shot. Never mind. 
So they ended up trying to save it on the backboard. Those are a decent uh, thing to do, like when Quack Attack pops it here. But he ends up popping it on too far underneath the ball. It needs to go, uh, well, not too underneath the ball, too far below the ball or uh, past the ball. He needs to um, go directly under the ball and pop it up so he can follow up the backboard. Definitely a very skilled thing and not the easiest thing to do. This could be a shot opportunity, good finish. So just a really slow uh, defensive play from the opponents here. Big miss from Quack. And the second that I see that, I go for the play immediately and uh, let River go in for the finish. Definitely like a selfless play. don't need to follow that ball up myself because there's a player that's rushing it. And once again, see, I'm being carried by my teammate. Don't need to uh, don't need to be the star player, man. You just, just got to gotta find spots where you mess with your teammates. Yeah, I'm just changing the pace once again. Changing pace in this game is all like going to work out a lot for even defense as well. And once again, I can beat him here if I go a little bit faster, but I'm playing like too hesitant. I've actually noticed that me me doing this where I'm pl trying to play slower has actually made me play a little worse in SSL because I just I, I'm just not playing full speed all the time and I need to start doing that again. Really good cut there from from Paste. Really good follow up too. I don't think Paste can finish this. Look at patience. He wants to pass it or dribble. I like that control of the, the, the left wall. And it's actually causing um, all of them to go to the wall while he's turning it, even though they don't need to do that. This is off the ceiling. He might go for it. He drops it to me. Really good idea not to go for the, 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 the actual attack by Quack there and see if River can get back for this. Really good shot. Really good play. So that all worked out because Quack didn't go for the challenge there. I got the boost and I definitely could have just rotated back afterwards. I just wanted to go for the demo or something in case my teammate went for it really fast, but ended up not rotate back here. Good save from River. I'm gonna grab a few boost pads because there's no boost to grab. Should be my teammate here. Now this is awkward for them because he's still floating and I can go for the aerial here and just go for the shot. The second that you see a guy off the wall falling down, it is so hard to boost back up. It takes all of your boost just to even slow your momentum down. So the momentum in this game is really, really important. Um, knowing like what is possible from a car and what isn't is going to help you uh, understand what like what to attack, what not to. Like knowing that once someone flips, they're stuck in that animation for a bit is really good. This guy's going to grab that boost. So I end up just boosting a little bit um, to get him off the ball. Bump that guy as well. And now my team has space with full boost. Now, I'm waiting in mid, but I don't think anything's going to happen here because there's two players set up on defense. This guy's awkward. Ends up going right to him, too, and a goal, too. Yeah, it was, it was a quite quite a perfect set in the mid, mid, uh, midfield there, but it's it's going to be a 50-50 whether that's good for us or bad for us. So I would never suggest doing that where it goes in the mid, but it happens. Make sure I 50-50 it like that. One of those situations where that guy messed up really bad and it ends up working out for him. But uh, we have space here. My teammate might turn on this. So once again, I'm just not going to... Even though I'm in a better position to make something fast, um, it's better if I just, you know, let my teammate turn. Because he does have full boost. And that's a really good passing play. It's really far off the net, though. So I'm just going to go for a shot. I'm just going to go around the post. Definitely could shoot that on target. But once again, we're up a goal. We're 15 seconds here. Let's see if we can pass it across. Good play. I'm going to wait in mid here. Still waiting. He might get beat here. Might be in the net. It's off the... the the post there. Don't want to challenge. Still don't want to challenge. He has to keep it up here. Just going to the wall. And now we'll just pop it, pop it down to the floor. So really good game. Really good chances for them to bring it back at the 4-3 there. But uh, we got a dub on the second game. And we're moving up quite quickly here, which is good. Because I, I like to move up in the series and not sit in a rank and dwell on, you know, a certain certain rank of players. But we're into the gold, gold rewards now. So we haven't even played that many games. I think it's like 30 or something. I'm not really sure. Yeah, it must be 30 or so because we're on episode 10. So yeah, definitely a good set of games so far. Uh, teammates are playing really well. I've been carried both games just based on like me positioning back and letting my teammates take, take over, which is perfect. And uh, we have one more game to go. Let's get into it. All right, so we actually got... Uh, Paste on the other team again. I think he was on my uh, the other team last game. I can't quite. I honestly can't even remember. I don't remember who was on my team, who was who I was against. We have a one v one v two here. Really good uh, shot. The only thing he can do is chip that towards the net. So I'm just watching the far side. This could be a shot opportunity once again. He's chasing this really fast, so I'm just waiting for him to get close and go for a fifty. Make him overcommit. This is really overcommitted here. It should be my teammate. A little bit of heavy touch. Now they're going to have a chance off the off the sidewall here. So the second that I see him go off for this, I'm going to jump. Go for the uh, the play. 
As you can see, that it's going to be over me, but I'm just baiting him into making a touch. I'll get demoed here, maybe. So just jumping over him. Big miss, but Hunt Hunterman's going to throw it forward. I'm going to go off the backboard here. Boop! Hit the wall. Let's be able to, we have a good chance here. It could be a 50 50 or something. Let's see what Hunterman does with this. Bad touch. Oh, but that's one of those situations where I really thought my teammate wouldn't go for the ball because, as you can see, that's really dangerous for us. But he should have this. So I am trusting him to go for that. And my teammate once again. Not the greatest touch. And I have to watch out for demos here because I am last. It's going to be a flip. So once again, I talked about this in the last episode. Making sure you get to the side of the ball is really, really important to clear that ball properly. I knew that the only place the ball could go right there on that corner was up the wall. So I just drove up it where he was going to hit it to me. Go for a touch. It's not going to be on target, but just to pop forward. Should be my teammate here once he rotates in. Ends up just backing off, which is fine. Good touch. Got to wait for Hunterman's shot. There we go. Let's see what pace does. Not a great touch. Good 50 across. So I can pop this off the corner and this pop back to the middle, but Hunterman's ready for it, so I'm going to back off. Ooh, a bit of a heavy touch, but he should be able to stay with it. This is pretty awkward. Good try from them. As you can see, I was trying to read it off the backboard as soon as possible because I've talked about this in the in the, in the past as well that what might have worked uh, in previous episodes uh, will no longer work at higher ranks uh, because if I didn't, if I just waited completely, that guy would have just shot on target. So I have to jump up earlier. Go for a touch. Good chip. This should be a finish. Nice play. AJ playing really well there. One v two. One v two against them, just supporting him in midfield. I'm going to cheat up here a little bit, see what happens. Okay, so this is uh, definitely going to be my ball in the corner here. Now, they're 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 pushing up, so you can pop it forward. And you see, I'm actually with the ball again. But good cut off by Hunter. I'm going to go... Oh, good shot from them. I was going to say, I'm going to go forward for my teammate's touch, but he's just a little, little bit too slow, which is okay. But he definitely could have been, could have been there faster because they let go of the ball last. Just not reading the play where it could have been next. My teammate's going for this. Once again, I'm going to wait for this, this ball to spill in the mid. I'm going to boom it forward. This Hunterman's touch here. Now, I'm gonna, I see my, my teammate AJ in the corner, so I'm just going to wait for this. I could turn on this, but he's already up. Now, I have a free ball. He's up for it again, but I don't think he's going to get a good touch, so I just go for the 50-50 and get the boost as well. It's always important to think about where you are on the field and when you're challenging and how much boost you have. It's so many, like, uh, so many... Okay, I could have shot that. Probably should have too, because it was definitely a good chance for me to shoot it off the side. But let's see what pace does with this. So once again, just a big aerial and just pop it off the backboard. If you can pop that fast off the backboard, it's going to be the best for you to get a clear and follow up the field, which AJ did try to do. This ball's for free now in mid. Go for a shot. See if they can save it. Good save. But now it should be maybe a chance for my teammate to come in for the shot and good finish. So once again, just the placement is important because if, if I go over his head to the top right, he has to back up and go for a pop. Um, and he definitely could have popped that safer into the corner, but he didn't make a bad, uh, good touch. And then my team has a free shot towards the net. That's all about the placement. And people have said, like, oh, you know, I said his shots are too good for certain ranks. Uh, which I am reading the comments, by the way. I am seeing what people are saying about everything uh, throughout the episodes. Um, the important thing is placement and how you're touching the ball. Like, right here, if my teammate pushed up a little bit more seeing that I had the play to pop that forward, he could have been following that up early. Really good turn on the wall, though. I like that. That touch is more to be desired though but i like the idea that he's trying to keep pressure there and keep it close now pace is here and he's ready for it now i have the play but i'm kind of scared of my teammate this could be bad good finish yeah i got really scared that he was going to go for that i really should have committed either way because it looked like he was you know driving off the wall to go for this and he just didn't flip at it i definitely would have flipped at it to like get in the way uh to pop it we have seven saves it's been a bit of a back footed game but it's not a big deal Go for a pop forward, see what my teammate does, or the opponent does. Once again, see how he's clearing to me, because I'm waiting in midfield there. But I end up popping it right back to them, which isn't great. We have space in the corner here, I have full boost. This guy's up, so I'm just going to flip it forward. Now, if I can get in the way of this guy and mess with him, uh, it could be a chance. Oh, yeah, they threw. <laughs> and there's nothing I can do about that one. I mean, I definitely bumped this guy. He was definitely panicking, but he didn't need to do anything with the ball because I left because I was low boost. He got the mid, he got that corner, so I just backed off. So I saw that the opponent was in the back left corner with the boost there, so I ended up trying to pop it to the right. That way, it's as far away from the player who has boost. This is a good shot opportunity. I have to finish that one. That's 
He said my teammate just did great pass to them too. Dude, I don't know why everyone's so toxic. Oh my god, that's like this is like three games in a row. <laughs> is this that common? You know what? Here. Here. <laughs> this guy just said, come on, dog. Can can we all be nice? Let's Okay, never mind. <laughs> it was it was a hopeless effort. I don't know what's going on. Okay, Pace has the ball in the corner here. Good clear, see if they can make a play on the field. Oh, we could shoot this. That's a really good shot. Really good play. And now my teammate's saying Z Z Z. To be honest, that was a really bad play for my teammate. I, I I'm not even gonna, I'm not even gonna harp on him for that one. That was a bad play. He just popped it towards the wall. But you know, what can you do? Go for the corner here. I'm gonna go up. I can keep this up if I want and pop it towards the net, and it's over. <laughs> honestly, honestly, I just wanted out of that game. This is uh, this is a regular occurrence so far in the episodes. People just being toxic. Uh huh. <laughs> all right, I'm out. GG's. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode so far. Like I said, this is all in a playlist if you want to watch all the previous episodes. Quite an eventful one there, uh, as always. But until next time, have a great day, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.